Culture Vulture, European Countries, Day. So we start today in Essen. Why the heck would we choose to come to Essen? If you go on TripAdvisor, I'd be interested to see what the top 10 things to do in Essen would be. But I'm telling you that the best thing you can do in Essen, as of Jive of Hearts, is that shop there. Red, hot and blue, or the website rockabillyrules.com. For those of you who want to know where I get my shirts from in the videos and dance shoes and trousers, that's your place. Welcome to Red Hot and Blue, which is the shop for rockabillyrules.com. God bless you. <laughs> so this is inside the shop Red Hot and Blue. That's what you can purchase and I suggest you visit their website rockabillyrules.com and be quick about it because unfortunately my happy place this shop is closing down so make the most of it guys get online if you can't get to Essen and get yourself some lovely clothes and dance shoes. There it is. Good thing is, if you come to the shop, you get to see these two lovely ladies. <laughs> Wouldn't you be the lucky ones? And of course, if you find yourself in northeastern Germany, near Dresden, then get yourselves to Lady Yule. Fantastic vintage shop, retro shop where they have fantastic dance shoes. I bought myself a beautiful pair of saddle shoes there and they do fantastic clothes. So as well as rockabillyrules.com, um, get yourselves to Alan Strauss 70 in Dresden. Go say hello to Tim and treat yourself to some great rockabilly clothes. And this is the reason why we've come to Wuppertal in Germany. <laughs> this monorail system was built in 1901. So uh, they finally threw us off because apparently we've been on here for 14 hours. 
up and down, up and down. There's no stopping us. So this is it. This is the amazing, uh, oh, famous monorail in Wuppertal. If you follow it, it takes you into that station, which is where we finally got off because we kept riding backwards and forwards like yo-yos and it was great. This German hotel, look at the bathroom secrets.